Microsoft's hands gets forced by the internet at large into talking about E3, the final Ready Player One trailer drops, and SpaceX is launching something else pretty rad into space this weekend. All of these stories and more on today's Looter News Live. Happy Friday, everybody. It is February 16th in 2018, and this is Luda News Live, your weekly recap of some of the biggest news in geek, gaming, and pop culture. I am your host, Josh Ball. Let's get into the news, shall we? We're starting up this week with a story straight out of Microsoft regarding its big E3 plans for this year. It seems that recently floor plans for the show were leaked on the reset era video game enthusiast message boards. While it had been pointed out that these were an early draft of still incomplete plans for the show, that didn't stop many from combing through the images and noting that it seemed the area allocated for Microsoft's floor space was noticeably smaller than its Sony and Nintendo counterparts and fueling much speculation about the company's plans or lack thereof at this year's E3. Microsoft's head of Xbox marketing, Aaron Greenberg, then took to Twitter yesterday to clarify that the E3 2018 floor plans that have been going around are not accurate, and that Microsoft will have a pretty large presence at the show, stating, quote, maps circulating just aren't accurate. We're pumped for E3 2018, and we'll be there in a very big way at the Los Angeles Convention Center and beyond, more details to come. Yeah, shut up. So shut up, you crazy nerds. Now, there are a lot of rumors flying around as to what some of, he didn't say that, that was, <laughs> that, that was our quote. Just wanted to clarify. <laughs> anyway, uh, there have been uh, some other rumors flying around about some of Microsoft's E3 presence and announcements and what it will be from a new pr uh, perfect dark game being developed to perhaps a new Fable game or even yeah. Halo 6, which brings us to our question of the week. What would you like to see Microsoft show off or announce at this year's E3? A particular game or perhaps Xbox VR, maybe some cool add-on or something that boosts the power of the Xbox One X? Let us know what you come up with in the Facebook Live chat right now, and we're gonna pick some of the best and most creative answers to receive a gift card to the Loot Vault at the end of the show. Now, speaking of potential E3 reveals last weekend at Disney's D23 event in Tokyo, they unveiled a brand new trailer for, that's right, you guessed it, Chris Darbro so excited for Square Enix's Kingdom Hearts 3, a game that was first teased and announced at E3 back in 2013, which is crazy. I was in my mid-20s, and spoiler alert, I'm not in my mid-20s anymore. Anyway, I look great. I'm just, I feel, I feel great. Anyway, the new trailer showed off a lot of awesome stuff. Showed off Goofy. It showed off all the cool characters. And it also showed it off in a new yet familiar smooth HD next-gen console appearance. We also got a glimpse of new worlds set in the backdrop of Disney films such as Monsters, Inc., Tangled, and Toy Story. Additionally, it was revealed that the game's gummy ships, which are the primary means of transportation that take the game's characters between different worlds in the Disney universe, would be returning yet again in the game, and even will have a battle mechanic to their use in the new game. While it all looks exciting, let's be honest, as we mentioned earlier, the first teaser for the game debuted at E3 in 2013, and we have been burned each year since. That being said, Everything we've seen over the past year has been pointing at a 2018 release, so fingers crossed that we're gonna hear more and maybe even have something playable, huh? Maybe, yeah. maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Something playable, please, at this year's E3 here in Los Angeles. Now, Disney and Square Enix weren't the only ones to drop a new trailer this week as we received the third and final trailer for Steven Spielberg's Ready Player One, the film based off of Ernie Klein's best-selling book, for those that are unaware, Ready Player One is the story of a guy named Wade Watts living in the dystopian future in the year 2046, who, along with most everyone else in the world, uses an internet-connected virtual reality system called the Oasis to escape his everyday life. Now, we won't give away too much more than that to avoid fun, spoilery stuff, but while this wasn't the first Ready Player One trailer that's been released, it's definitely one of the most interesting that we've seen so far. 
The first two trailers seem to spend a lot of time showing the audience what the wonderful world inside the Oasis system looked like, whereas this new trailer was showing off a little bit more of the real world side of the main characters and things going on. Despite all of that, it was still filled with much of the same visual eye candy and nostalgia that the first two trailers were famous for. And if you haven't yet checked out the trailer in its entirety, we highly recommend it. It's certainly the type of film that will delight geeks and gamers alike, even if they haven't read the source material, which we highly recommend you do because it's amazing. And you should read the book before you watch the movie because then if you watch the movie and then read the book, then your imagination won't be able to run wild with all the characters. So read the book first and then go see the movie. Anyway. Uh, I digress, I get a little excited about stuff like this. Uh, luckily, we're not gonna have to wait too much longer to see the finished product as Ready Player One hits theaters next month on March 29th. We are going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're gonna be talking about the cool thing, or should we say things, SpaceX is launching into space this weekend. And then later we'll be sharing your answers about what you'd like to see Microsoft announce or reveal at this year's E3 and giving away some sweet, sweet loot to the loot vault. So be sure to stick around. Taking the excellence of Loot Crate to the next level, Loot Crate DX provides a high caliber assortment of collectibles, apparel, and oh, so much more. And at $49.99, it's less money than I paid for this robot that makes espresso. Terribly. And we're back. Now, as we saw in the first half of the show, we certainly got some fun trailers and information dropped on us this week, but we also got a couple of strange and unexpected announcements this week as well. The first of which was a new teaser trailer for Cobra Kai, the Karate Kid sequel series named after the infamous dojo from the film. Now, if you're not familiar with the original Karate Kid, we'll actually forgive you on this one, seeing as the film came out almost 34 years ago. Yes, that's right, 34, I wasn't even born yet, but I've seen it, so you should see it, because it's great. Anyway, the first footage of the film in the teaser shows the rivals from the original film, good guy Daniel LaRusso, talking to previous bad guy Johnny Lawrence about Johnny's decision to resurrect the old, defunct Cobra Kai karate studio. While it's entirely possible that whatever story is planned to take place in the series might be interesting, this is one of those where you can also see it totally turning into the poster child for the fact that perhaps some pieces of 80s nostalgia should just stay buried in the, in the 80s and maybe not be brought back. But who knows? Uh, time will tell on that one. Another weird or unexpected news to drop this week, Square Enix released a remake of the 1993 Super Nintendo classic Secret of Mana. Wait a second, Squeenix. Maybe that's why you guys haven't been getting to the next Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy VII remake out the you door. Huh? Bastard. You silly, oh, Square Enix, you're so crazy. God, I'm just getting so excited today. Anyway, I digress. Now, uh, the remake of Secret of Mana includes updated 3D graphics, voiceovers, and most interestingly, seems to be getting some pretty high praise from critics. Now, there are some folks out there that have had a few negative things to say about the game, mostly because they're dead inside. But at the end of the day, most of the issues criticized simply <laughs> boil down to some small quality of life things. Now, for those of you who are fans of the original, do not fret. While the graphics have a fresh coat of paint, the gameplay itself is basically identical to the original, which includes the awesome chance for some great RPG couch co-op. The game also includes some fun new enhancements, such as the option to change between English and Japanese voiceovers, the ability to use autosaves, and more, while still retaining that old school JRPG feel. And if you're like me and weren't enjoying the updated soundtrack, do not worry, because you can simply change to the OG soundtrack in the options menu. If you were looking for something fun to do this weekend and you are a gamer that likes RPGs, go check out the game, which just came out on PC, PS4, and the PS Vita. Now, if uh, the Secret of Mana remake isn't quite your thing, our last story might give you another option of something pretty rad to do this weekend. For those of you who geek out over all things space, including those of you who, like us, watch the Me? SpaceX yes. Falcon yes. Heavy yes. launch. Yes. Yes. It was Jamie, he's clearly very excited about it. If you watched the SpaceX Falcon Heavy launch last week, you'll be pleased to know that SpaceX is scheduled to do another launch on Sunday night. This launch, however, isn't sending Teslas and spacemen to Mars, like the last one did, but is instead launching two experimental mini satellites into space as part of a project known as 
Cloverfield, uh, sorry, Starling. <laughs> this all sounds like a sci-fi movie. I wanted to put that little plug in there, but no, it's real life because this is the, the world that we live in. These first two satellites are supposed to be the first of what is eventually going to be a 4,000 satellite net above the Earth for providing yeah. low-cost internet around the globe. Again, sounds like the start of a sci-fi movie, but it, again, it's real life, you guys. This is actually something that's going to happen. Starlink was first announced back in 2015 and is designed to be a massive space-based telecommunications network consisting of thousands of interlink satellites along with a few ground stations as well. Elon Musk has said that SpaceX is going to try to do for satellites what they've done for rockets, and that the plan is to have a global internet service up and in place by the mid-2020s. As we speak, the two prototype satellites are packed and ready for Sunday's launch, which you can stay on top of by following at SpaceX on Twitter, and you can also view on their SpaceX.com webcast page an hour before the launch. It's gonna be super cool. If you're into space, highly recommend giving it a look. Now we've got one more quick break, but when we come back, we're gonna be reading your answers from chat about what you'd like to see Microsoft announce or reveal at this year's E3 and awarding gift cards to the winners. So don't go away. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. At the top of the show, we asked you what you'd like to see Microsoft announce or reveal at this year's E3, and we have got your answers. First up, we've got Josefina Lopez. She took one of ours, but it doesn't make it any less cool or kick-ass. Xbox VR, I think that would be super awesome, and it would uh, put them up there with the uh, awesome PS VR. Uh, next up, we've got Barry Cochran, who says Wasteland 3. I would be super hyped about that. The first two Wasteland games were a ton of fun. And finally, we've got Garfield Lynch, who says GTA 6. I think we can all get behind that. Uh, very, very good, very awesome. Thank you so much for those answers. Now, if we read one of your answers, one of our team will message you on Facebook sometime after the show today to get you your gift card to the Loot Vault. And if we didn't, or if you're watching this later on the magic of YouTube, be sure to come back next Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific, to join us live at facebook.com slash loot crate to have more chances at some free loot. And if you thought a week was finally gonna go by without some Marvel news, <laughs> you're so wrong. We got you, suckers. Black Panther is in theaters today, so go check it out this weekend, you know, after playing Secret of Mana and watching the SpaceX launch, so that you're all caught up before Infinity War. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, with that, I'm Josh Ball. I hope you have a phenomenal weekend. We'll see you next week for an all-new Lunar News Live. Shaboom!